dear friends this is my tutorial 46 in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to do modeling of carbon nanotubes using material studio so there are three different kind of nanotubes are available one is a zigzag nanotube second one is amshar nanotube third one is chiral nanotubes so here you can see if m equal to zero means that nanotubes are called zigzag nanotubes if n equal to m the nanotubes are called amshar nanotubes otherwise they are called chiral nanotubes okay so if you want to know more about this naming scheme of this carbon nanotubes you can use this term the carbon nanotube naming scheme in uh, in such this way in Google you will get the large number of uh, details about the naming scheme of carbon nanotubes just you can read it you can understand easily okay so in this tutorial I am going to uh, share you some of the zigzag and the amateur nanotube uh, unit cells uh, unit cell st structure in the format of a SIF file so you can uh, use it that uh, uh, unit cell SIF files so you can make your uh, large uh, carbon nanotubes do your catalytic or any electronic structure analysis applications okay so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you so how to make the super cell of this kind of uh, carbon nanotubes and make the single atom catalyst with this nanotube okay so for that just we will open our material studio in order to build the crystal uh, the super cell okay so just click ok so if you have already created any project just you can open default otherwise you can create it new one okay so I already made one uh, name in the name of nanotube just I will click ok open an existing project okay now we will see our uh, nanotube unit cells you can see here amateur and zigzag nanotubes is there okay i will show you the amateur nanotube unit cell so here you can see different kind of amateur nanotubes is there i have the zip file just i will share this file to you you can uh, make use of it okay so this is a uh, five that means m equal uh, n equal to five m equal to five okay that means m equal uh, m equal to n okay like that n equal to m or m equal to n okay so this is the things so i will uh, show you the year uh, that's a uh, 18 to 8 uh, nanotube 8 comma 8 okay just i will uh, drag that 8 comma 8 so see this is the unit cell of 8 comma 8 that amateur nanotubes okay so just we can rotate using this one so now we will uh, change this uh, stick model into the ball model okay go to display option and click ball and stick and reduce this uh, stick radius and increase ball radius if you want i think uh, 5 is okay so okay you can close it now you can see this is the amateur format okay so this is the amateur uh, nanotubes so we can make uh, this large super cells and it can we can also make the single atom catalyst on uh, with this uh, nanotubes okay so we will do later then i will show you one more uh, uh, nanotubes that is the um, zigzag nanotubes okay this is the zigzag nanotubes so here i will uh, open 8 into 8, 8 comma 0 that means uh, n equal to 0 m equal, uh, n equal to 8 and m equal to 0 okay so this is that uh, m equal to 0 i already shown here no? okay, you can see this here you can see m equal to 0 that means n only 8 m equal to 0 okay so this is the one just i will uh, drag uh, this structure into that material studio so similarly you can also right click and display option you can click ball and stick and reduce radius increase that ball and stick and then you can close it using this way this one you can rotate your structures okay 
here you can see zigzag format okay this is the zigz you can see here is coming like a zigzag that called the zigzag nanotubes okay so now we will make uh, using that amshar nanotubes in single atom catalyst okay just we can click that one so if you want you can also make with that zigzag only everything the same only you can make it easily okay so now we will make the super cell of uh, this uh, amateur nanotubes go to right click display style you can click lattice here you can see uh, c axis just you can increase c it so how many how much size you want just you can increase so i want 8 okay just i will make it the 8 so that's all then uh, you can uh, close it uh, this one so we, we we have to make into the super cell after this one okay so this is the uh, unit cell format is there now what you have to do go to build and go to symmetry and you can make, click the super cell it will uh, create the super cell okay we have made it our super cells of this 8 into 8 comma 8 and carbon nanotubes so now we we need to increase the b length because uh, so if you if you want to make single atom catalyst so we need some phases here so we, we we have to create vacuum into the b angle okay so what you have to do just uh, go to build and click crystals rebuild crystal so here you can see lattice parameters here you can see b is there so here is what is the 13 is there just you can in, uh, add a uh, total to uh, so how much you vacuum want you can add so i will add here uh, 25 okay and apply so you see here so uh, after uh, giving that uh, c uh, b axis we have got this much c axis is uh, vacuum so i think this is enough i think if you want to do single atom catalyst so if you want to need more vacuum just you can increase the b length that's all okay so there is no problem so now we will make here the vacancy okay double vacancy in order to make a single atom catalyst you can also make a single vacancy single atom catalyst also okay so now i will make here double vacancy single atom catalyst so we need to delete to carbon atom here just to select and delete it it will go okay so here you can see we, we got the dual vacancy in the carbon nanotubes okay now we have to change the four carbon atom into nitrogen so what you have to just you can select uh, you can press shift and select okay we have selected this the four uh, this carbon atom so just go to modify just click element and um, click nitrogen okay modify element click nitrogen so now the four carbon carbon atom change it into the nitrogen okay now what we have to do just we have to add one um, metal atom here okay just for that just you can see a sketch so if you click sketch that this will activate now you can click this one click periodic table then you can make uh, which kind of metal you want you can add it so i will add here ruthenium okay just you select and click ok so what you have to do now is pen type will come so just click this pen and uh, just slightly move okay just you can move and double click it will stop okay uh, that that will ter terminate the adding atom otherwise it will, will come continuously so we have added one atom here just we can uh, drag select this one and just you can uh, move okay like that you can move mouse this uh, ring you can use to move okay and then you can rotate it keep it into the center okay then you can click this uh, bond if you click this uh, bond it will connect to all nitrogen atom okay so that's all so we have made our single atom catalyst with carbon nanotube okay so amateur nanotubes okay now if you want to add any absorbate if you want to add nitrogen so you can also add nitrogen just click nitrogen like ruthenium 
and we click it here in the top of the things just you can uh, move top then so again also you can add it I think we have added more nitrogen so just we can remove one nitrogen one nitrogen so just to select this and move into uh, linear form okay so that's a, just you can click this bond it will change into the triple bond okay that's all so now you can save this file as a zip file and convert it into postcard okay now we will save this file into into the sif so here you have to change into the sif okay just you can select here you can change make it a sif so i just modify name into the sif name so just to, to separate it to the other one okay just we can save it so so this is the our uh, created single atom uh, catalyst okay so we can uh, see this file with uc uh, Vesta. So this is the single atom catalyst of uh, this armchair nanotips. Okay. So just we can uh, save this file into the postcard file. Just go to file and uh, export data into so postcard. That put I also name here. Also you can uh, highlight the postcard so that then only you will get that postcard file. So just to click fractional coordinate. Okay. Now our postcard file is ready. Okay. Open with notepad plus plus. So this is the our postcard file. You can use this file for your VASP calculations. Okay. So here 250 carbon atom, 6 nitrogen atom and one ruthenium atom is the six means including the n2 okay that is the things okay i will share these files to you you can uh, make use of it okay thank you for watching my video if you like my content so please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you so much for watching and your time enjoy